and welcome to Better Sage. My name is Sonia. Um, I wanted to do a video. I'm going to try to make it short. Don't want to talk too much about any of these things. But like my witchy favorites that I've gotten or been given through this year or and some gifts that I received for Yule and Christmas from family members. So the first thing I'm gonna show is something that I bought for myself and I got it off Etsy and I don't remember the shop or anything, but if you like search for it on there, you probably might find it. Is this Obsidian Crow Skull. If you can see him. I know the yellow walls in here are horrible. I actually want to paint like a kind of like a emerald green or some kind of dark green in here. I think it would look good. But he's my first favorite. This is just something I bought for myself in the summer, I believe, off of Etsy. Um, something else I bought for myself off of Etsy this year. And this is, when I ordered it, he, like, handmade it when I ordered it. So, it took, like, a couple of weeks for me to actually get it. It's a Hecate's wheel. This, oh, well, I don't, it just says up woodworking. But, yeah, got it off of Etsy, signed it, Hecate's wheel. Just a gift for myself. Again, ordered it about the same time I did the, the crow skull, but it come on a couple of weeks later. And then also around the same time, probably a little bit later, is this crow's foot. I actually got two, they look the same. Uh, working on talismans of some type. For this there's actually some pieces that I'm trying to find in order to complete it so that's a little bit of a search things don't always come look at these at right when you want it <laughs> um the next thing is this skull we went to a big flea market I would say early fall maybe with my daughter and um, her boyfriend. And where was it? Ocala, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, there was a lot of people selling um, crystals and tarot cards and stuff like that. But I found this one woman. I bought two things from her. And I got this Jasper skull huge and I got it from her because she had the better prices like he was only $30 and from every ones I was looking at even from crystal shops that I can actually get to that was one of the lowest prices I'd seen on crystal skulls and then I got this set this sphere, septarian sphere, from the same woman. I believe it was 20. What is next? Oh, during the summer, we went to some springs and some rivers, me and my daughter and my grandson. I have never found one of these, like ever. I have bought a couple off of Etsy, but I have never found one. And this is this is um, a river, a river hagstone or holy stone. They're called both, depending on you know your culture belief. So I found that. I was excited when I found that. Um, 
another thing that I bought for myself. This was after Halloween, I believe. I got a couple of things either after Halloween or near the end of Halloween. This one come from TJ Maxx and it's a, a gold skull. What is that other? Made with safe paint. <laughs> yeah. So he's huge. So I like him. I'm usually drawn to skulls and candles, crystals, ceramics, everything. So I got him. Pretty cheap. What else did I get? I got this. This didn't. This was from Five Below. So this is one of those um, ceramic hands. So I got one of those. Um, we have, in this little town I live in, we have something they call a blueberry festival. And it's usually the same crafters and you know they do the the crochet things and they do all the the football team stuff the colors and all of that this year there was an older dude that had crystals believe it or not but what i was drawn to that he had and he made these dousing rods I've wanted a pair of these like for a long time and they're copper. So he had these and I think I only spent like $20 on these. I have tested them um, in finding water and on my property where we have our water, it, it worked. And on a couple of other places it worked. So I love, I love those. Um, Something my daughter, my daughter got a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Somebody gave her a whole bunch of stuff. And there was this wooden box full of, that reminds me, and I don't have it in here. Um, full of kind of like pipes and stuff like that. But there was two in there that she thought I would like. And I'm going to use, I'm using them for my, ancestor altar is what they're for so this one is deer horn and rattlesnake this one this is my favorite so that goes on my ancestor altar and the other one is a lot simpler it's wooden so got those Oh, incense burner. This was a Christmas gift from my son. There was a sort of like a craft festival or something in town that <coughs> he and his girlfriend went to. And so he bought me this skull incense burner from there for Christmas. It's really lightweight. It's, uh, oh, what do you call that stuff? That resin stuff. Yeah. What is next? A gift from my daughter for Christmas. These, I'm just counting as one. They're earrings. Two pair. So the first pair is, stop swinging, rattlesnake rib bones. So I've got those. And the other pair are wolf teeth so she gave me those for christmas my sister my sister gave me a plant and some other things but this is something she handmade herself she hand painted this mushroom on this ceramic ornament so that's her hand painting. So that was special. 
Oh, that's one thing I forgot. This is something my mom. It's like roll-on. I wouldn't say perfumes. It says wellness elixir. One of them is a get well with peppermint, eucalyptus, and rosemary. The other one is peaceful night, lavender, Roman chamomile, and vetiver. The other one is freshness, tea tree, bergamot, grapefruit, uh, balance emotions, bergamot, lavender, geranium. We have energy reboost with lemon, rosemary, peppermint, and bergamot. And then it has the little names written in front of them on the wood. I do not know where she got this from, but they're, they're little roll-ons. See, you just roll them on. And they smell really good. She also, she doesn't know what I'm gonna use it for. She's like, it's a notepad that she made, but okay. So you know there's little silver um, coasters. You get them in the set on this. Well, she went and hand cut a bunch of like scrapbook papers, all different kinds. You know, you stuck them in here and it's a, a notepad. Okay, it's, it's a notepad. <laughs> These are, I'm gonna use them for petition papers and stuff. They're on my working altar. Just saying. Anything else? Oh yes, this is another thing my daughter got me. This set of incense, Alice in Wonderland. You got Blackberry and Magnolia, which is the white rabbit. You got Cheshire Cat which is Raspberry and Freesia, Queen of Hearts, Apple Blossom and Vanilla, Alice's Lavender and Honey, Mad Hatter is Patchouli and Jasmine, Caterpillar is Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, and the Dormouse is Citrus and Marigold. So she got me that. And I think that's all. I really think that's all. I'll go ahead and show this little thing because I just found the other day, so it's not really 2023, but it's an old Avon bottle that's an owl. And I was, um, I can make some kind of oil and put it in there. And that's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. So. so that's it. Just a short little video on some of my favorite things. Just make sure I didn't forget anything. <laughs> Check and check. Got it all. So that is my some of my favorite things I bought for myself in 2023. And then some of my favorite Christmas Yule gifts that I got from family members. So until next video, blessings of the dark and wild.